Hello, Annie Collins here of Little Wings Create. Today I'll be creating a Clark Process video as part of a charity blog hop. This blog hop is part of the Jessica Lynn original charity blog hop of called Love Your Pet. It's for the Lucky Mutt Rescue Center. A while back, Jessica asked me to be a guest designer for this hop. She included, she asked us to choose cats or dogs. For the, for the hop, I chose cats, being that we have rescue dogs and cats in our home. Now, I'm going to put all the links to all the hop and all the information on the box below. I chose Celine's kitten, which includes four adorable images and five sentiments, which will go perfectly which go perfectly for this hop. We have things like her more, his less, perfect pal, happy birthday. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of the um, images will be colored off screen as well as side cut off screen at the same time so you can continue on the hop. I will be using all the products featured right here along with the stamp. We're going to use Tepito Black um, Memento Ink. We're going to color with our Spectrum more, some thin dyes, some stickers, some smooth 110 white cardstock for stamping, gray cardstock for our card bases, and pattern paper from pa Paper House to decorate. So we'll start off by stamping the images of the two kittens in the the back, as well as the little paw print. I'm going to stamp this twice using Momento Tepito Black Ink. I'm going to stamp it twice because I'm going to create um, a little window scene, a little rescue center window scene, and I need two, one for each side of the window. And you know when you go to rescue, if you have a rescued a little kitten or cat, a uh, little kitten or a dog, I should say, there's always more than one little window with plenty of them to be adopted. Here are images which I cut on my brother's scanning cut, and I'll be coloring them with my spectrum more markers. I'll be doing that, like I said, off screen as well as die cutting. Here the images are colored, and I'm going to set them aside while we work on our card bases. This um, recollection gray card spot. Heavyweight gray card stock, which I'm going to score um, at four and a quarter because we're going to make a two card basis. I'm going to repeat the same process. Now, one will be our card base, and one will be the foundation for our little windows where our cats will be housed until they can find their forever home. Now, to create our windows, <coughs> excuse me, this is me giving you a quick little idea of what the image, the final product of our card will be like. Now to create our window, we're going to need some thin, a thin square die. Now I'm going to hear that this is where I'm going to place it about more or less. And I'm going to repeat the process on our pattern paper. Here I have our cute little kitten and I've colored them with the markers and I did some detail work with some jelly roll black pen and jelly roll white pen on the eyes and along the and added some more details to the cat. Adding some wink and stuff to their eyes for a nice shimmer. Then I'll set those aside while we continue working on our card. Now I instead of using acetate, I'm gonna use packaging because I know for sure everyone will have some packaging. I'm going to adhere the packaging to the back of our card that we cut the windows out of. I'm just using some um, double stick tape, cutting any of the extra packaging off. And I'm going to repeat this on the other side of our card. I'm using packaging because I know everyone has extra. This is left over from some crappy supplies I bought earlier in the week. 
Now that we have it on both sides, sorry that I moved my mat there, we can work on the front of this panel. Did the same thing to our paper, our pattern paper. I used the die to cut the windows. I'm just going to adhere them, lining up, trying to leave a little bit of gray edging on either side. I'm trying to stay within the camera, which is hard because my little lens is small. <laughs> now I'm turning it this way because it's easier for me to line it up. I apologize now for my gray hair sticking into the camera lens. Gently pulling and pressing. I like to leave a little bit of the backing and then peel it off so that it doesn't stick and it's hard to move. So here we are, all of it's covered. Now I cut a, a piece of card, black cardstock, two by three and three fourths, as a little base for our little kittens to sit on. I'm just going to adhere this to the bottom of our card base, more, moving in more towards the center, leaving the edge clear because that's what we're going to adhere our front of our card to. Well, I should say the inner window part. Now I'm making sure that our that where to line up our kittens. And I want to make sure they're low enough that so they're more centered in our window and gives us a little space. Now I realized that with the extra thick cardstock, I needed to put a thin foam adhesive towards the top. And I'm going to use um Nuvo glue on the bottom, liquid adhesive. So it gives me a little bit of wiggle room before I press it completely down. Again, making sure that it's aligned properly. And then double check. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, if you've ever been to a rescue center, there's always, the room is always cutely decorated with some kind of wall decorations, banners, borders, wall stickers. That's what I'm going to create here. I'm going to use some of this washi, which I picked up at Michael's. It's Recollections brand. And it has a little kitten and little kitten paw prints on it. I'm going to create a little top border and repeat it on the other side. Here I'm taking these thinner stickers. I don't, I, we already have enough bulk on the inside, and I want to add too much bulk. I'm going to add here this one to either side. You'll notice here in a few minutes, I changed my mind as to where those those little stickers will end up. Because when I place my window, I realize you can't see them. So a quick change, and now I have them move closer to our kitten. And I also have them in a diagonal formation. Now I want to decorate the, this panel, our window panel to make it look much cleaner and nicer. I'm using a black washi tape, which I also picked up from Michaels. It's a recollection brand. And I'm going to go around our window to frame it out. And I'm going to repeat this on both sides of our panel. I just cut it, even up the top, so overlap it so it makes a nice square. And I'm going to repeat it on the other side. Before I do that, I'm going to adhere some shiny um, thin washi because cats love shiny stuff. I figured why not? Let's add that to it. I'm bringing a little bit of this orange which is bringing some of that tabby color forward because we have plenty of gray. Our card is gray, our card is base, and so forth. And we have the outer edge. Now we're going to adhere our window panels to our card. I line up each of the corners and the edge. And I know this is a little off screen, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to line it up, press it down. And as you can see, if you have a little gift, that's good. That's what we want. I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. And we're going to adhesive and lining up our corners and sticking it down. Now, I like to push it up in the center so I know that. It's, I have enough to create that little diamond shape on our top. 
And there you have it. There's our window. I'm just going to test it to make sure. Pinching both sides. Now we can push it in, close it, and there we have our standard card base. And test it out a couple times just to be sure it fits and opens and closes properly. Now I'm going to decorate the inside with some cute uh, puppy stickers and one of our um, stamp paw prints. And at first I'm going to I put both down, but you'll realize I changed my mind because I wanted to reserve one of those paw prints for the outside of our card. That was the original thought, and then I mixed it up when I started doing this. I'm gluing on that paw print with the more quick um, liquid adhesive, and then I moved the little tabby because I realized that puff is a puffy tabby sticker, and it's too um, on the inside, um, and it wouldn't close. My card wouldn't close properly, so I moved it to the top, and I put a thin um, one of those clear stickers on the bottom. Now to the front of our card. I'm going to repeat the same process using the same things that we had on the app on the inside. The kitten washi, the shiny washi, which is the metallic, it's thin metallic uh, orange washi, and the square of pattern paper comes from the um, cutout. I, I just saved it. Here's my cigar box where I keep all my extra scraps of paper, which are perfect sizes for stamping your sentiment. I pick two sentiments, one for the inside of our card and one for the front of our card. For the front, I'll be using the one that says, I'd spend nine lives with you. Now I pulled some black shiny um, shimmering card stock and there's our little sentiment, and I cut both of those with square um, die cut die die cut die. Whoa, what am I saying? And here's the little um, paper that we did before, the little cardstock one. And I'm going to add another little puppy sticker to the front. Here I'm going to use the gray tabby. So, and then I'm going to adhere this to the front of the card, which I'm doing off, apparently half off screen. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. And I'm just going to remove the adhesive, make sure it's lined up. And now we're going to move to the inner side sentiment. I, to, 